In 2011, Jonathan Kahn's first book, The Harbinger, exploded on the world scene. Now, more than 10 years later, The Harbinger of Things to Come is hitting the big screen. Are the shakings that have come upon America and the world from 9-11 to COVID-19 all part of an ancient mystery, a prophecy, a warning of what is still to come? From New York Times bestselling author Jonathan Kahn comes an explosive and mind-blowing motion picture, The Harbingers of Things to Come. Welcome back to the 700 Club, Jonathan Kahn. Jonathan, wonderful to have you with us today. Always great to be with you, Terry. Will you talk about why you decided to make this documentary that's based on your book, The Harbinger? Yeah, well, first of all, yeah, and it's the harbinger part of it is just a little part because most of it is what has come after. That's not even in the book. Um, what, Terry, for those who don't know, the harbinger is revealing the uh, ancient mystery of judgment that America is going through right now that is replaying a nation under judgment, starting with 9 11 and starting with these appearance of these harbingers in the land, but it hasn't stopped. What started then has been coming true. We, are, If you look at where we were, with 9-11, it is, we are far more racing away from God right now, and that is part of the mystery. That's what happened to ancient Israel. So it is more critical now than ever. So uh, the, the the idea was to get this out now and get this also onto, you know, I've never done anything like this before, onto movie screens across America. So the harbingers of things to come, again, it's going to be most what has not been revealed, um, and it is what has been, what is happening now, that's part of the mystery where things are going, what does the future hold, what do we need to know as believers to prepare for that, uh, is there hope? And it's also, you know, there are things that I, I heard in the, in the, in the, the prequel there, um, there are things that I have held back for years. There's prophetic images that I have never shared that, that for the first time it's going onto the screen. So um, we are praying, not only this is for believers to, as a wake-up call, but also for non-believers. If, if, if believers have friends who need to know, not just the people in their life who are believers, yes, bring them out, but also to bring out unsaved people as well, because it's very hard to argue with it. It's kind of going to be like a prophetic explosion happening on movie screens across the country. And originally, it was a one-night event. It was May. Tw it's May 12th. It is. But th they've been selling out, so it's going to be May, May 19th also. And I'm praying that people come to the first and then bring out people who are not saved as well, uh, for it's because it's a wake-up call that really it, the hour is late. Jonathan, will you talk a little bit about you talk, and of course, we know 9-11 and the Harbinger came out and we read all of that. But what are some of the things that are affecting us right now that are Harbingers that are occurring? Yeah, well, you know, one thing is that, again, it has not stopped. And one of the things that was really foreshadowed in the Harbinger is that America was going to keep, I mean, except for revival, is going to follow the course of ancient Israel. Um, what has happened with COVID-19, even, even this? I'll tell you one of the mysteries, um, and that is that, that, um, that actually begins with a harbinger, and that is that when the first strike, the, the pattern of judgment is there's a strike on the land, and it's limited, it's an attack. Well, that was 9-11 for us. Then there's a period of years where the nation's given a chance to come back, but then greater shakings come. Now, when you look at what happened with Israel, with Jerusalem, the first strike came in 605 B.C. The greater shakings came in 586 B.C. So to put it together, that's a 19-year period, 19 years. It's linked to judgment. Well, I always wondered, is this going to follow now? Well, 9-11 happened in 2001. If you count 19 years, the, tw the, the 19th year is 2020, the year when the shakings and the plague comes upon America. I was always looking at 2020, wondering, and it happened. And the thing is, Terry, the prophet Jeremiah, when he spoke about what would happen in the 19th year, one of the things he said, this is for Israel, is that a plague would come on the land. And what is the name of this plague? It's COVID and then the number 19. So even this is part of it. And not, and not only that, I mean, we're going to go into even where it came in America, the day it came is all part of the mystery, and where is it all going? So the COVID pandemic happens, and how does that play out in the Harbinger movie? 
Well, it's actually, this was one of the, one of the things that God uses as a wake-up call um, that happens. It actually, it's actually going to show not only the, t the, the year, but the very day that it happened. You know, Terry, that if you remember, remember when New York uh, passed that gruesome law about killing babies up to the time of birth? Well, well, they did it, they, they, and, and the governor chose to light up one of the nine harbingers, which is the tower there, in pink to celebrate it. Well, when COVID came and, and the, you know, it, the first case in America, patient zero, uh, it was headlines all over America. And if you look at the date next to those headlines, the date was exactly one year to the day when New York, you know, did this, passed this gruesome law of killing children. And it was January 22nd. And the thing is, it's the same date that America legalized the killing of children. So this is very relevant right now. And even where it came, I mean, we, you know, when we're going to find the places. It's, I'm actually taking the viewer on a, a kind of mystery journey to places where there are mysteries like uh, islands, you know, and there's one island in New above New York that is all part of this mystery that is revealed. So um, it is all playing out, Terry. I mean, it's it's kind of, it's very stunning. Can I ask you what it was like for you? You narrate the film and you actually went to the places where various harbingers happened. What was that like for you? <laughs> yeah, I don't, yeah. I'm actually, I'm throughout the film and yeah, well, I, there are places I've never been. Of course, I've been to New York and we go there and Washington, but actually on, uh, we, we went, we had a chart, a charter ships, boats to go to these islands that, uh, on which were like, like one of them, there's a mystery that's embedded there that from the beginning of America, and that is saying what's happening now, a prophetic warning. Um, but literally, I mean, but going on there was like Alfred Hitchcock, it was the birds. We had to fight off the birds, you know, it was, there was spiritual warfare. We'd be filming in New York and people would come up to us to stop it. I mean, it was just, I, I know the enemy doesn't want this, but so it was a real adventure. I've never been on so many boats in my life. Can I ask you what the hope is that the movie offers? Because harbingers are frightening. What is the hope? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know what, Terry? I think without without warnings, there wouldn't be any hope. I, don't, you know, people ask us their hope. There's always, I mean, at every one of my books, there's always hope at the end, and so with the Harbinger too. But you know, without warning, we're not going to wake up. And so, so the the actually, I go through how actually God changed the history of America through the hope that He gave, and and the, the only hope for America right now. Is, is revival, because without turning, there is no hope. But you cannot have revival without repentance. You know, after 9-11, everybody's rushing to the churches, and they're hope, you know, they're, they're saying, God bless America, but there was no repentance, and so we've actually gotten worse. There has to be repentance. The, the key scripture, of course, is if my people, and that there's two things on that. That's my people, that's us, and then it's if. So there is a big call at the end about what, not only what we have to do for the future uh, to prepare, but also what America has to do, what we have to do for that. And actually for me, Terry, this is our also the most exciting time. So it's not only revealing all these things, but it's also calling to what we need to do for the future. Wow. Well, I want our audience to know that the harbinger of things to come is going to be in theaters across America. There are two dates, May the 12th and now May the 19th. So to find out where it's showing and how to get tickets, log on to CBN.com and we'll try to help guide you through all of that. Jonathan, thank you so much for being with us. It promises to be a fascinating and hopefully uh, warning to people who go to see it. Gordon?